The F2 2024 season is just around the corner, so here's everything that you need to know for this year. Why don't we dive in to the 2024 F2 driver lineup? Unlike Formula 1, Formula 2 has 11 teams on the grid, but who are the drivers? Prama Racing sees hotly tipped Mercedes Junior and Formula Regional European 2023 champion Andrea Kimi Antonelli, with a teammate of Ferrari Junior Oliver Behrman. Dam see an all new driver lineup with Jack Crawford and Juan Manuel Carrer, who made his full time return to F2 last season. MP Motorsport continues with Dennis Hauger, who's joined by rookie Franco Colapinto, who got a taste of the series last year for the season finale at Yas Marina Circuit. In the high-tech Pulse 8 seat, we have Paul Aaron making his F2 debut alongside Amory Cadil. Campos Racing give us a new Red Bull Junior duo of Isaac Hajar and F2 rookie Pepe Marti. There will be some team name changes in the sport, with one being Carlin Motorsport, now known as Rodin Motorsport, with team founder Trevor Carlin making his departure. Their drivers are 2022 F3 runner-up Zane Maloney and Super Formula and Super GT, but F2 rookie Ritomo Miata. The next team name change is Virtuosi, now coined in Victor Racing, due to an ownership change. It's a pretty cool name in my opinion. In the driving seats, we see Gabriel Bortoletto, who won the F3 2023 Championship in his rookie season. Very impressive. And his teammate is Kush Maney, who continues under the mentorship of two-time F1 world champion Mika Hakkinen. Art Grand Prix have announced F2 rookie and 2021 Aston Martin Autosport BRDC Young Driver of the Year winner Zach O'Sullivan as one of their drivers, alongside Victor Martins. Van Amersfoort Racing will have an all-new driver lineup with Enzo Fittipaldi, grandson of the two-time Formula One world champion Emerson Fittipaldi, and Rafael Villagomez will join him. Next up is Trident, who have the return of Richard Vershaw, who drove for the team in 2022, and his teammate is Roman Stanek. And last but not least is PHN Aches Racing, who are looking to have a better season with rookies Josh Dirksen and Taylor Barnard. Now that's the grid, but where are Formula 2 racing in 2024? The calendar sees 14 races with some absolute belters and some iconic tracks to look forward to. We won't be breaking down race by race, but feel free to press that pause button and take a look at the full 2024 calendar. The first nights out will be in Bahrain on the 29th of February to the 2nd of March, then it moves over to Saudi Arabia on the 7th to the 9th. And if you remember last year, the rookies of Oliver Berman and Victor Martins ferociously battled it out and gave the spectators a lot to talk about. On the 28th to the 30th of June, we returned to Austria, which was an iconic 2023 F3 race as four drivers fought hard for that victory, but it was Vershaw who took that win. My all-time favourite track, the Monaco F2 Grand Prix, is held on the 24th to the 26th of May, and with such close racing in Formula 2, you know it's going to be a make-or-break race. Another one of my favourite tracks, the Monza Circuit in Italy, is on the calendar for the 30th to the 1st of September, and the season finale takes place in Abu Dhabi at Yas Marina Circuit on the 6th to the 8th of December. Let us know in the comments below what you think about the 2024 calendar and don't forget to tell us your favourite tracks. Now let's take a look at the format. You might be a new fan, so don't worry, we've got your back and let's take it from the top. The weekend starts on a Friday with one free practice session of 45 minutes and one qualifying session of 30 minutes. Saturday sees a sprint race consisting of 120 kilometers, or it will last for a total of 45 minutes, but this depends on whichever comes first. The feature race takes place on Sunday morning, and similarly to the sprint, it consists of 170 kilometers, or 60 minutes. In terms of grid positions, the results of Friday's qualifying session will determine the starting grid for Sunday's feature race, and the starting grid of Saturday's sprint race is determined by reversing the top 10 finishers of Friday's qualifying session. The feature race includes a compulsory pit stop in which all four tyres must be changed. Unless the driver has used wet weather tyres during the race, they must use at least one set of each specification of dry weather tyres. Not familiar with the point scoring system? Then let's take a peek. For the sprint race, the top eight classified drivers will be awarded 10, 8, 6, 5, 
four, three, two and one points respectively. For the feature race, the top 10 finishers will score 25, 18, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 and 1 point. Two points will be awarded to the driver who takes pole position for the feature race. On the final grid and in each race, one point will be awarded to the driver who achieves the fastest lap time, providing they are in the top 10 positions of the final race. Are there any specific rules and regulations that I need to know? Well, there's not as much as in F1, but here are some of the basics. In terms of tyre allocation, the regulations state that each driver will be allocated five sets of dry weather tyres per weekend. They will have three prime specification sets and two of the option specification. Each driver will also be provided with three sets of wet weather tyres. DRS can be enabled with the designated DRS zones during free practice and qualifying. During the sprint race and feature race, the drivers will only be allowed to activate DRS within the designated zones when within less than a second of the car in front and is available to use after two laps unless decided otherwise by the race director due to a number of different variables. Some exciting news for the 2024 F2 season is the next generation F2 car that was unveiled to the media last year. So what's changed? The new car is designed to give the drivers the best preparation for F1 by making it as close as possible to an F1 car and this is done by the overall concept. This includes the body structures, onboard electricals and performance across the board. The floor, front and rear wings and nose have been designed to enhance closer, more competitive racing, which is something we all love to hear. The car is powered by a 3.4 litre turbocharged hybrid Mechachrome engine and accommodates the Aramco synthetic sustainable fuel that will be introduced in 2025. In terms of the electronics, the car has been enhanced with a new Morelli Vehicle Control Unit, or VCU, which mimics the exact same digital setups found across Formula 1. That's everything that you need to know about the F2 2024 season. Will you be watching this year? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to tell us who you're rooting for this season.